Welcome to Seeking Equanimity. I'm your host, Doc Jana, and I'm really excited that you're taking a few moments for yourself to find peace, stillness, and tranquility. Let's journey together. Pouring a cup of tea can be its own meditation, its own sacred ritual. It's one of the many reasons I love tea. I think it's like drinking a warm cup of yoga. (laughs) It is a way to take care of yourself in a few moments because sometimes the way life goes, all you can steal away is a few moments and boiling a kettle or boiling a pot of water on the stove and pouring yourself either a cup or a little pot of tea is an incredibly peaceful thing. It's, you know, there are whole tea houses and tea rituals and coffee rituals all over the world. There's really something deeply sacred about it. And I find myself in one of those moments where the backdrop for when you're pouring the tea is also a beautiful, lovely thing. If you, I've never been to Japan. I'd love to go to a tea house. I've been to little ceremonies uh, inside Japanese botanical gardens, (laughs) but not in actual Japan. Um, I've known some wonderful British people in my life who've taken their tea pretty seriously, and I didn't get it when I was young. I totally get it now. But when you can have a cup of tea with family or with friends, or when everything is just peachy and it's part of a celebration, it feels a certain kind of way. And then now I find myself in a moment where there's a lot of stress and there's a lot of things going on and you know nothing catastrophic but stressful things that you know weigh heavy on the mind things that are outside of your control (laughs) that can be a difficult one so what's nice about a cup of tea is that you can you can manage that (laughs) and it's not about controlling it but you can be with it so for all of the cups of tea that I've had when things were wonderful and things were you know, celebratory, when I pour a cup of tea, when things feel on the other side of that spectrum, I can delight in the presence of the tea that itself has not changed, though the outer circumstances have not. So for my higher self and my soul to get to be in company with that which has not changed, even though the outside has, it's a beautiful thing. It's nice to be present to. I hope you can have a cup of tea sometime soon.